George in California. Hi. 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 I'm George, Huntington Beach, California. You got seven I minutes. Paul to think. <laughs> I'll do it. I can wrap it up inside of seven. Um, I really want to con congratulate you and compliment you on the show. It's just fantastic. Thanks. I've been mooching okay. off your guys' show for like 15, 20 years, and I finally contributed. So <laughs> I thought it's long enough getting, getting so many free episodes. Um, I, uh, I, started, I, I came to atheism um, from a religious background, uh, uh, Episcopalian, I was confirmed, so forth. And one day after my confirmation, I'm standing out in the backyard at night, moonless night, full of stars. It's in the country. And I'm asking my dad, we're talking about the university scientist, and I said, what's outside the universe? He said, nobody knows, George, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I, I tried to figure that out for years. I, uh, I, I came to the conclusion right after I <laughs> had my first communion in the church that I wasn't going to, going to go to church anymore, and Dad said, well, just don't hurt your mother's feelings, and I, I haven't done that. Um, but what was interesting is that the slow progression over the years from a kind of uh, non-churchy, semi-religious, I don't care about it feeling, matured into um, a lot of logical challenges. I was very lucky in my first semester in college, I took a course in logic masquerading as an English honors course. Well, uh, really we're we're at lot. five minutes now. Do you have a question? We're at five minutes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. my question is, how often do you get calls? I didn't know you were in the uh, question answering mode. I forgot <laughs> that. How often do you get calls from people who have been uh, religious and became atheist as part of an educational path? an educational experience. And I, I can specify uh, if, if even more closely uh, the, the moment it occurred was I was watching a show on recovering from religion and a preacher was speaking, having recovered from religion. And he said that he found it was okay to have feelings, normal, natural, physical feelings, and he didn't have to worry about God looking over his shoulder all the time. And it suddenly clicked with me. The feeling, I'm, I'm really promoting atheism because I've had such a wonderful life free from uh, any of the baggage that came to me with my religion. It's really very liberating. And I'm wondering how often you run into people who've had a similar experience. I'd say I, fairly I, frequently with yeah, emails. I, I don't really know because not everybody who calls as an atheist identifies their specific yeah. path, but hmm. it happens. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting to me because 30 years ago, I went into Alcoholics Anonymous and I sobered up as an atheist. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, my, my wife died on February 28th. I've been going to bereavement I'm therapy. Sorry. Nobody talks religion. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody talks religion, and nobody asks me, which is great. Um, yeah. But I haven't, I haven't felt any urge to even think of returning to religion, as I might return to, for example, alcohol or something like that. It's just a phenomenal experience to undergo, and I give a lot of credit to your show for that, just okay. from the educational background I've had listening to everybody. I've loved, I've loved hearing from every host. I have no favorite. Every one of you Thanks brings a much. different point of view Thanks. and a different contribution. It's absolutely marvelous. This is just kind of like tossing bouquets your way. You know, keep up, keep up the good work. Right. I'll be watching for as as long as I'm alive. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, George. Okay, I hope we keep doing You're it welcome. that long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope you do. Yep. Goodbye now. Bye. All right. Uh, I think. I don't know. I think that's our show because yeah. we got two minutes and uh, that's not really enough time. Sorry, Alok, but uh, <laughs> we're out of time. Or yeah. do you want to try to bum rush him through? <laughs> well, I mean, we could. His question is why does the ACA argue against religion? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alok, you have. Give me your question in 30 seconds. For, wow, are you on a plane? <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. 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 Why does the ACA argue against religion? Um, it's uh, harmful. Um, there are 
are beliefs that are actively harmful to human beings promoted by religions. And even the beliefs that are not actively harmful are in many cases not true. And we don't think there's any uh, particular benefit to believing untrue things. Yeah, they make no sense and they have net negative uh, impact on people's behavior. So um, uh, we don't think there's any reason to support them. But uh, that's our show.